Hey everybody, this is Ken Haskins with WebKyrie.com. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you how to display dynamic images on a web page using Dreamweaver CS6. Now believe it or not, displaying dynamic images is not a difficult process at all. In fact, the most difficult part of our tutorial today is going to be a simple copy and paste process in order to be able to display dynamic images on our web page. So let's go ahead and get started. Here I have a mock-up for a fictitious uh, real estate agent agency and on their website I want to display all of this information dynamically from our database. In order to do that I need to create a table within the database that's going to house all of the information that I actually want to uh, be able to show on the website. So here I have the ID that's set to auto increment and the reason for that is that each time I put a new or the client puts a new house on the market I want the database to capture not only the information but I also want the database to keep a record of the houses that are put into the database. Here these other fields are set to VARCAR and of course the details are set to text and that's because you can have a lot of details about a house uh, we don't in this particular demonstration but um, ideally you know you would have that set to text because you don't want your details to be constrained to a character width and so um, here with the VARCAR settings I set them to 300 and a couple of them are set to 255 and that's not something that's uh, etched in stone you don't have to do that I just did this out of uh, habit and most likely you won't even need this amount of character space, space especially for your images because most image file names are not that long so once again this is just a tutorial to show how to display the information on the um, website not necessarily how to structure your uh, content or your uh, fields inside of your table alright so inside of those fields I have the information that I want displayed on the website already here and if you want to know how to get this information into your database I have another tutorial about how to display dynamic content on web pages so check that out okay so now let's go back uh, let's go to Dreamweaver and as you can see we have our mock-up here and the reason why you wanna you want to have a mock-up is because you wanna know what the website should look like when it's all said and done and when you, whenever you're developing a website that has dynamic content there's no way that you're going to be able to tell what the website is going to look like until you actually upload it to the server and so what the mockup does is actually give gives you a visual aid of what things should look like and where things should go as you're designing the website that's going to be able to uh, display dynamic content so let's go back to Dreamweaver we're going to do a save as we want to save this file as index.php and the reason for that is because we're going to use the structure of the site that we created for our mockup here on uh, for our tutorial that's going to display dynamic uh, information so the next thing we need to do is change this to real estate because it's no longer a mockup and here we want to make sure that we're connected with our database which we are we want to create a couple of record sets at this point we're going to name our first record set RS list that's going to display or uh, hold the records for everything that's contained in our recent listings we're going to sort it by its ID and we want to sort it descending this means that the last house that we put into our database we want that information to be displayed first on the website let's hit OK and let's create our second record set and we're going to name this RS featured and we want to make sure that we have the featured listing table selected 
and we're not going to do anything with the filter or the sort because outside of just displaying this information dynamically uh, we're not going to do anything else with it in this tutorial so let's hit OK and there we have our record sets available for us to choose from as we begin to build our dynamic website so here let's go ahead and delete the image there and let's hit control alt I or you can uh, just hit the image button here let's select data sources and let's choose from our record set in our dialog box here we're going to choose image hit OK OK and let's do a few drag and drops we want to display the address city and state and some details okay and now because uh, let's hit control s to save now because we're going to generate all of this information dynamically from our database we no longer need this static information so let's go ahead and just delete these okay so there we therefore we got that control s to save and let's select that div and go to our server behaviors panel hit the plus sign and we're going to make this a repeating region make sure that you have the correct record set selected and we're going to display all records let's hit OK and there we go this particular area is now going to be a repeating region control S to save and let's delete this image here select from our data resource data sources that is and we're going to choose image from our featured record set okay and let's do a few more drag and drops okay there we go so as you can see our website looks completely different from what we currently see in our mock-up and so that's the reason why you want to have a mock-up available for you so that way you can just easily place things where they belong because when you upload it to the server everything is going to fall right into place And so let's do that let's uh, preview in Chrome and alright so now we have our information that is dynamically generated here on this page from our database and as you can see this information here is completely different from the information here so everything here looks fine except for the fact that our images are not displaying and this is where a lot of developers get stumped and the reason for uh, the reason why this is happening well it's not be it's not because we haven't put the information into our database and it's not because the images aren't uploaded into our uh, onto the server what is happening is we haven't told the server where this image is and so it shows up as a broken image here so the browser knows that something is supposed to be here but we have to tell it where that image is and so let's do that let's go back to Dreamweaver and let's delete this image here and we're gonna do uh, a little cheat here let's put one of those static images that we had back here and let's select this box here for our source and as you can see this URL is giving us a path that's leading to the image and so what we need to do is actually copy that because most likely this is in the same location on our server as well so we want to make sure that we copy this we're going to hit cancel because we no longer need this information or this image control alt i data sources let's select the image from the rs list record set again 
hit OK and now let's go to code and now let's paste that path that image path right there before that PHP code so that way the server knows where this information where the image is actually coming from so when this dynamic Im uh, image is displayed on the page is going to show up because we've given the server the information that it needs in order to be able to display this dynamic content so let's do the same down here because the featured image is also in the same um, folder location okay let's go back to divine design view let's click that and what we need to do is make that a clickable link an active link and we're gonna attach it to our listing page and we need to set parameters let's write ID there and let's click on that we need to select ID here and the reason for that is because in our database we gave this field a name of ID and so here we need to make sure this is called ID these two things need to match up if they don't match up then your image won't show up at all even if you did the copy and paste so we want to make sure that that's selected and you also just real briefly you also can't have ID there and then select <laughs> something else here again these two things need to be the same so let's hit OK OK again control S to save and let's put it back on the server and so now if you if we do a page refresh all of our information including the images is now showing up on our web page which is exactly what we wanted and as a bonus what we wanted to do was if someone visits this page and they see a house that they like well what they can do is click on this image and it will take them to the listing page and here we have information that large image image that was in our database and all of this information here more images as well as the agent and so forth we click on a couple of more tabs and we can see that different information different images show up all of these things are being displayed dynamically from our database and that's all because we were able to tell the server where the images are stored so that is how you display dynamic images on a web page I also have a part two to this video with some additional information that you will need to know about image paths as well as how we um, set up this page here for the listing.php so check it out my name is Ken Haskins I'm with webkyrie.com hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe thank you